Tired, weary, frustrated? What would you be doing if you weren't raising children alone? What's stopping you from living your best life now? On Solo Moms Talk, I discuss with solo mothers the challenges you face raising children alone. So if you're a working solo mom dealing with independent children, insensitive bosses, weight and health issues, or even debt collectors, join us as we discover your path to get and stay healthy, increase your income, and live with joy and purpose. In this battle of life. Hard to keep your head above the water. So win this fight. Happy New Year, Solo Moms. Welcome to Solo Moms Talk in 2023. This is season six. It's amazing that I've been doing this for almost four years. And at times we slow down, but this is one project that I don't see an end to. So I hope you had an awesome holiday and that you're looking forward to doing more for yourself in 2023. This is a short message about gratitude and goal setting. Something I've been working on recently is myself. And I realize a lot of times that I focus on the negative. I focus on things that don't go wrong, that go wrong or is going wrong or isn't working out the way I want it to. But I've discovered a coping mechanism, if you will, that whenever I think about something bad or negative or something not going right, I turn it around and start thinking of the positive things. So for example, I yesterday I was walking and I was thinking of I wanted to take a trip and the trip it doesn't look like it didn't look like it was going to work. Um, but instead of focusing on that too much, what I did was think it was think I'm walking, my feet work, I got out of bed on my own, no one helped me to get out of bed, and I'm breathing on my own. And I start to think of all the different things in my life that were right, that worked. And so I have developed a mechanism to learn to live life. I used it on two of my sons the other day. One had, you know, he was tired and, you know, thing probably was feeling a bit overwhelmed. And I asked him to focus on the positive things that were happening in his, in his life. It didn't make the not good things not good anymore. It just shift his focus from those things. I think it was Tony Robbins who say, where focus goes, energy flows. So I'm learning to focus on the positive things. I use the same scenario with another son of mine. And this is something you learn that as your kids get older, you become more of a mentor than a parent, especially when they're adults. And it's something I enjoy doing. I try to stay out of their life decision as much as I can, but I also want to impart wisdom to them. And so one of the things I have learned and I'm developing is this attitude of gratitude. And he had some things he wasn't quite happy with, but he was also working on some things that would impact his future in a positive way. And I ask him to focus on those things and see how his perspective changed. And so I'm asking you, if you would develop that exercise with me, whenever things are going wrong, whenever things don't go the way you want them to, instead of getting upset, mad, you know, yelling, screaming, all the different things, all the different um, emotions we go through, why not stop? Take Hello, Solo Moms. Do you feel isolated and alone in your parenting journey? Are you tired of facing the challenges of solo parenting by yourself? If so, then I have the perfect solution for you. Join Solo Moms Connect 
the ultimate support group for moms raising children on their own. As a solo mom of three adult sons, I want to provide a safe and welcoming space where you can connect with other moms, share your experience, and find, and find answers to your questions. So don't go it alone. Be part of a thriving community of solo moms. Join Solo Moms Connect today and get the support and guidance you need to succeed as a solo parent. Join us today and be a part of a community of strong and resilient solo moms. Solo Moms Connect, building stronger communities one mom at a time. So don't wait, click the link below and join us today. A deep breath and look around at the things that are correct or good. Your children are running around and playing their happy your kids are healthy generally. You have those amazing kids. So what if you're not feeling too healthy? What if not? I have a solution. My solution, and it's the one I use, is to start deciding what I want. So you're not feeling well. Why aren't you feeling well? Could it be that maybe you're not taking care of yourself? You're not taking time to rest. You're not eating properly. You're not making the food that, you know, keeps you healthy. So my, my solution to that is to decide what you want, okay? I want to lose weight. So make a goal, write those down, and decide that you're going to take care of those things. It shifts your focus from the negative. It shifts your focus from what's wrong and what's not right. And it shifts it, one, to things you're grateful for, things that are working, and two, the things that are not working, you're working on them. And so that's where this morning's, this day's encouragement comes from. Gratitude and goal setting. Give thanks for what you have, for who you are, and set goals for what you want. Work on them. Write the vision down. Make them plain and follow those steps. And finally, I encourage you to trust God that he wants the best for you and work on your goals in concert with him. He says, if you ask anything in my name, I will give it to you. So cast your cares upon him. Whatever is bothering you, whatever is not working right, tell him about it. Talk to him about it. Pray. Give thanks, set goals, work on your goals, and pray. I'm excited to share that Solomon's Talk is now on YouTube. Check out these interviews on our new channel, Solomon's Talk TV. There you will actually see the interaction between myself and my guests. You will also find bite-sized clips of daily inspiration to help you manage the struggles of everyday life. So click Solomon's Talk TV below to watch now. Thanks for listening. Are you still setting New Year's resolutions only to ditch it halfway through January? Or are you struggling to keep up with life because it seems you've lost control? Sign up for Successful Goal Setting Strategies for Solo Moms and let me walk you through setting up a plan for your life based on your birthday. Join the waitlist below and put a plan in place so you can have joy in the middle of life's chaos. Remember, you're not alone and you don't have to parent in silence.